Hey, we I'd, were just... I'd like to talk to my boyfriend. Alone. Nice job not hitting on him. Look, I'll get those CDs later. Thanks for the sex. She's joking. I was trying to call you. You mean when you weren't hanging out with Peyton? Oh, come on, bro. You never call me back. Now you know how I feel. Listen, I know it's been difficult for you lately, losing Keith and your heart condition and giving up basketball. I feel like I've been keeping you close to me to try to protect you from those things. Like I'm hanging on to the two of us for you, but not for me. I'm sorry I kissed Peyton. I should have told you. It's not about that, Luke. It's not. I, I mean, I thought that it was, but this is not about her. This is about me. I love you, Lucas. And I probably always will. But we go days without having a meaningful conversation. And I used to miss you so much when that happened. But it never seemed like you missed me. And I guess because of it, I stopped missing you. I mean, look at today. I guess I should have said something. Anything. I mean, for a guy who wants to be a writer, it suddenly seemed like no words had ever been written. But when someone tells you that they somehow stopped missing you, you're pretty much screwed no matter what you say. It shouldn't be like this, Bro, I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. See? But there had to be something, right? Something that no one had ever said in the history of the world. Something that could change this. Brooke. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. That wasn't it.